Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's your buddy, 14th Prime. Today, I just wanted to talk about now that Legacy is almost over. Like, what is y'all? What, what do y'all think? Are y'all upset? Are you sad to see Legacy go? Are you ready for the next line, <clears throat> which they already have planned to come out for us? This video, I just wanted to discuss how, to me, and this is just my opinion only, to me, um, Titans Return, Combiner Wars, but let's not, not let's not even go into Combiner Wars. Titans Returns, Power to Primes, Combiner Wars, and then following it up with Siege, Earthrise, and Kingdom. To me, was the greatest run of the Transformers toy line. Why? I'm gonna tell you, because you got characters or modern renditions of characters. Siege Optimus. Um, I, we just did a video the other day about Siege Megatron, and all nine different repaints of it but even still then when it came out next to that optimus they looked amazing he looked amazing um i still love it let's let's clarify that for all those that watch the short um i do love siege megatron I, especially the g1 colored cell shaded one but just you know with like uh, cyclonus and scourge and like in the headmasters gimmick when that came out um the duo cons being able to get Skytread, and then to turn around and have them do the Autobot version with Rain Dance. Um, you got obscure characters that you couldn't get, you know, later on. And then, like again, back with Titans Return, we desperately need another Wind Charger. We need another, but just the fact that you could take if the head didn't come off, you could put them inside of the car. That alone, to me, was good enough. Like it was fun. It was playability. Um, do you guys ever buy like play sets? You know, like if if you not necessarily play sets like Trypticon or Scorponaut, but I'm just saying they look amazing. Titans Return toys look amazing on, you know, they look amazing on every. Okay, get out, get out. I'm working. They look amazing on those play sets. Um, the toys. Uh, they fit. They scale wonderfully. Um, again, during Titans Return, I was talking about Duo Cons yesterday. When they, even though they sold these separate, still Battle Slash and Road Trap were two awesome figures from my childhood, along with uh, Sky. I mean, along with Sky Tread or Flywheels. Um, you got Overlord. You got a redo of Six Shot. You know, a redo of Six Shot, which was amazing. Um, Overlord, like I said, uh, the list goes on and on. And then going back to Titan's Return, you had Octane. You know what I mean? Like, when's the last time you saw Octane? Um, um, it's sad that we just now got, um, Sandstorm, but still, Blitzwing, even though the robot mode was horrible, the robot looked, I mean, the, uh, jet mode looks horrible, the tank looks incredible, the robot looks incredible. Um, just, I'm just looking around, but in my own collection, but Siege Optimus, like for a walk for a long time. And sometimes still to this day, it depends on what day it is. This is still my definitive G1 Optimus because it's not, it, it is the tractor trailer, but the Cybertronian tractor trailer, you know what I mean? You still had the robot parts in the chest. And then the whole shout out to Bot Bender Orange and with the whole fusion, um, not not uh, Legacy fusion or Evo fusion, but just the fact that you had the Battle Masters, you could put weapons together and all that stuff. And now you got people like Bot Bender. Years later, they're still coming up with crazy combinations of how to make combiners and and stuff out of ports and five millimeter ports. It spawned a whole new generation. A lot of new people started watching Transformers due to see, and then they followed it up with Netflix. A lot of people hated the Netflix show. I loved it. I literally cried watching the first episode because it was so dark and awesome. And my wife was like, you crazy, but I'm gonna watch this show with you. And we watched every single one of them. Every, every premiere night, we binge watched the whole thing or whatever episodes were available. But Siege was so different it was dark it was gritty following up from the mashima show that we had on rooster teeth or whatever you however you chose to watch it on the internet 
It was an amazing show. Those were amazing shows with amazing toys that followed up. We got all of the girls, Chromius, uh, Moonracer, Lancer, you know what I mean? All of them um, during Siege. Well, then we got Chromia during Siege with the removable, whatever. But I'm just saying, I'm looking forward to whatever this next line is. But as for myself, and I've said this a million times in my video, my wife refuses to believe me. Um, I'm happy. I've got everybody I wanted. I wanted G1 season, season one of G1. I wanted everybody on the Transformers poster um, from the 80s. And uh, with the exception of Ransack, who I didn't want. But like this, if I, if I wanted you, I got you. If I didn't want you like Ransack or Barrage, who else is on there that I didn't buy? Some of the Dinobots, because I only really wanted Grimlock. Um, I do have them, but just uh, that wasn't like something I had to have. But everybody else, all the Constructicons, Blitzwing, Shockwave. Shockwave! Can we talk about Siege Shockwave? Where are you? Right here. Even with all his extra gun stuff taken off of him, this is a solid figure. It, as long as you had the hose and the gun arm, I was sold, but his super duper shockwave mode is even crazier. It's even crazier. Great figure. Um, got, a lot of people say they have got loose joints or whatever, man. Put a little clear nail polish on it and keep it moving. Um, and, I, you know, again, so what I'm saying is I'm looking forward to the next line. But as for me, I'm, I'm glad for all of you newcomers to Transformers that y'all are getting a chance to get these people that you didn't want, the, the new Primes. Vector Prime was in Walmart yesterday. Vector Prime and uh, Gears, who they said wasn't going to be out until August. Where are you? He, ah, there you are. Um, this has been in my Walmart for two months. You go on Amazon, it still says this character, this toy will be released August the 1st. No, just hit Walmart. Just keep checking. It'll pop up. But once I completed the mini box, like him, I didn't buy Huffer. I mean, I didn't buy Puffer uh, because, because I have Huffer. And one mold of him was good enough for me. Uh, Pipes. I'm sorry. Pipes is his name. I didn't buy Pipes. Uh, just because y'all got me Hasbro with buying the same mold over and over and over and over and over. I stopped at Huffer. But anyway, with that being said, let me know what y'all are interested in. What do y'all want to see? Oh, and channel update. I'm going to keep doing Toys We Love. I'm going to keep doing all that stuff. I'm going to keep dropping shorts. I'm going to keep dropping videos. But on my other channel that I do not <laughs> use, the 14th Prime Studios, I'm going to use that channel to teach you all the ins and outs and tips and tricks of YouTube, like things to say, what not to say, how to get your channel up, how to get uh, subscribers real quick, how to use shorts to your advantage. That's going to be dropping probably the beginning of uh, beginning of next month because I got a lot of other projects that I do on top of being a husband and a father. Um, but yeah, I will, that will be dropping and I will put the link on from this channel to my other channel. Just and like I said, it's not it's not going to be about Transformers so much. But it will be about um, helping y'all get your YouTube together. So I'm, I'm trying to see all of you uh, be successful. I want all of you to succeed. I want all of you to get that email that says you're now a partner so you can get your $8 a week. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> and just, you know, I, help, I just want to help you. Anyway, it's your buddy, the 14th Prime.